Okay, wow, we're getting filled up here. I see we have more than just our social coaches. We have some of our build coaches joining too mm -hmm. because you all are going to be working together, right? So we need to make sure everybody knows everybody else. Yes. Or at least recognizes the names. Um, and one thing that I'm going to ask uh, next week, we don't have to do it this week, but make sure that like my, my thing says Dr. Mimi, I'm going to change that to Mary Isaac next week. But just make sure that your uh, icon reflects a name rather than a phone number or like Joan, I think yours is your email thing. So just so people know who's talking. Yeah, and if you need to know how to do that, um, you just go down to where it says participants um, at the bottom and you click on the participants and when you find your name, you can actually click the little carrot and change your name. And I'll do mine while I'm sitting here. And it just changes it for this time. So the next time you'll be whatever you have set yeah. your account up for. Yeah, you, you click where it says more and then you rename. Hmm. So yeah, so I can rename mine too, just to Susie Ann. There we go. Okay, I think we probably have everybody or we have uh, enough people to get started here, Suzanne. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, so first thing I want to do is thank everybody for coming. And what I'd like to do is get to know each other. Um, it's hard in the virtual setting. We see each other's names on emails and in the WhatsApp, but just to kind of know who's in the room, so what I'll do is I'll just call on your name and if you could just share a little bit about yourself, um, your background. And with that, I'll just have Mary start, <laughs> even though Okay. Um, I'm Mary Isaac. I am an engineer and Wednesday is my um, jam day. So I have a little jam band and we will start playing about five o'clock tonight and we'll finish playing about nine o'clock. And there's only a couple of us we get together every week. And so we don't play for anybody but ourselves, but we have a good time doing it. Great. Katie, would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, hi, my name is Katie Teal and I am going into my senior year and I was in Tech Trek I think 2016. <laughs> um, so uh, I I wanted to apply and um, help out this year, but of course, you know, it's all in line now. <laughs> Sonara, welcome, Katie. Hi, uh, my name is Sonara. Um, I'm an incoming junior, um, and I went to Tech Track in 2017 at UCI, um, and I was actually a counselor there. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to keep going with Tech Track. Oh, awesome. We're glad you're here. Um, what about Caitlin? Hi, um, I'm Caitlin. I went to uh, Tech Track in 2017 at UCI as well. Um, and so I'm going to be a junior this next year. And um, this is my first time being a counselor. I'm all on bums. We can't go in person. I'm happy we're able to do this. So yeah. Well, we're glad you're here too. Um, let's go to Sanskriti. Did I pronounce that correctly? It's Sanskriti, but yeah, I mean, people usually find um, I'm Sanskriti. Uh, I'm going to be a junior as well. Uh, I att attended Tech Trek 2016, and now I applied to be a counselor. I want to do the camp as well, but you no, know, virtual, there's nothing. Well, we're glad you're here as well. Um, Maya. Um, I'm Maya. I attended, I'm an incoming senior and I attended Trek Trek at UCSD in 2016. And I just saw what a great program it is and I'm really excited to help out. I, I am so glad to see all these young faces because I really think the students that we're hosting next week will be able to relate to you. So I'm glad to see all your faces. Um, Joan, you're next in line, so I'll have you introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Joan Fisher. I'm a retired uh, 
test and systems engineer after 33 some years in the aerospace business. I participated in TechTrack last year at Mary Isaac's invitation. And so I'm along again for this year as a co-director with her and as a build coach. Um, my engineering background, the interesting fact is I'm one of 11 kids and about half of us are engineers. And that includes my dad. And I also have lots of uncles and cousins, but I was the first female in my family to be an engineer. And then I sucked my youngest sister into it too. So we're the two female engineers in that. So she's going to be a wealth of knowledge for us. Um, Heidi, could you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Heidi Doss. I'm a physicist and um, I've been helping out with TechTrek for a couple years now, a few years now, and I, I'm just totally loving this adventure. So I'm so glad you're all here. Thank you, Heidi. Um, Anjali. I'm going to be an incoming junior and I attended TechTrek. 2017, I think, um, at UCSD, and um, I wanted to be a counselor this year. I was finally old enough to be a counselor, but then, um, unfortunately, it's all online now, so the next best thing. Yeah, well, we're glad you're here. I think even though it's going to be virtual, I think you'll enjoy the experience. Um, Jasmine. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I am going into my second year at UC Irvine, and I was a counselor actually at UCSD in 2016. Um, I remember some um, Sanskriti, and I am happy to be a counselor again this year, even though it's online. I'm excited to see how um, this turns out. So yeah. I think the project is a lot of fun, and we'll share a little camp overview. So I think. Um, I think all of you will really enjoy this format this year. Um, Heather, you're next. Hi, um, yeah, I'm going to be a build coach, so I just popped in to be sure that um, I got to meet people, and it looks like, Katie, you're the one that's going to be my social coach, so yay, team. Um, I am an engineer by training. I, all my degrees are in mechanical engineering, but like Heidi, I'm currently teaching physics, um, and as you can see from my background, I teach at Cal State uh, San Bernardino. And like Heidi, I have been playing around with the toys that we're going to be using this week or next week. And um, it's been a ton of fun to kind of get back into some actual engineering stuff after having not really done real engineering for a long time. So I'm having a lot of fun and looking forward to the week. And Vanessa. Um, I'm Vanessa. I work with Qualcomm and just really, I'll be a social coach. Just really excited for camp. This has been our baby since March, I feel, <laughs> April. So excited to finally see it in action next week and excited to meet all of you. And then Kim, are you there? I am. I was just actually like hiding out basically in the back corner over here. So I'm Kim. I'm a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering. I actually come into this with a double bachelor's with anthropology as well as anthro. Um, I've been doing robotics almost 30 years now. Like, it's been a very, very long time. So I'm kind of going to be bouncing back and forth from room to room to room as a build coach, kind of an assistant more or less, as well as doing like the main um, lecture style part of this. Well, all of you welcome. Um, to introduce myself, um, my name's Suzanne, and I am not an engineer. I'm actually, my background lies in anthropology like Kim, as well as geosciences. Before I fell into education, I worked as a field archaeologist for the Forest Service, and so now I run career pathway programs in the Central Valley um, for a high school district. So again, thank you all for being here. Um, because we have a lot to cover and on a limited time frame, I'm just going to jump right into it. And so I'm going to share my screen with you just briefly. 
um, and just go over our agenda for what I want to cover. So we already talked about welcome and introductions, but I want to give a little bit of a camp overview. So what is this camp all about? Um, in this camp, which is sponsored by AAUW and Qualcomm, um, it's called Wearable Tech. And basically what students will be doing with their project is they will be creating an automated hat design that's based on what we call their strengths, interests, and values, and which also reflects a woman, a woman in STEM that they've been assigned to. And we'll cover all that as we go throughout. So students will receive kits, and I'm sure, I think all of you received a kit as well. And in these kits, um, we, um, all students will receive an Arduino, um, a breadboard, They'll receive two different servos. One's called a positional servo, and one's called a continuous. They have a variety of wires, and LEDs, and resistors. And just, uh, just for a second here, Suzanne, the social coaches did not get any of the hardware. They only okay. got the, um, the, like the icons, et cetera, and some of okay. the other handouts. Okay, so I'll, I'll, I'll go over all that too. So the build coaches will actually, what they're gonna be responsible for is going over basic circuitry, um, a coding language, which is called the Arduino coding language, and that's the C++ language. Um, and we, and so they're going to be instructing the students periodically on how to write code, how to put together circuits. And then our job as social coaches will be to really guide and facilitate conversation, be checking in with students to make sure that they're understanding, um, understanding the lessons that we're presenting them with and really trying to get them to explore their passions and interests throughout the week. Because our goal is to inspire these next generation of STEM women. Um, and, and so that's really kind of the gist of what we're gonna be going over today as social coaches. And I will get to the icons in a second. Um, it's actually on one of the PowerPoint slides. So let's briefly cover our schedule. Mary, you should have received this schedule from Mary. And what's awesome about it is all the links are here that you will use throughout the week. And so one of the first things that you will be leading is on Friday. And we will go over this orientation in a second. So during this orientation, um, we're just going to be giving a general overview about the camp with our campers. We are going to be teaching them about Qualcomm and our partnership with Qualcomm. And then we'll also be teaching the students how to use Flipgrid. And so I will go over Flipgrid with you as well today as part of this training session. Um, I also wanna say if I'm going too fast or you have questions, just blurt out the question or raise your hand um, and I'll stop and address those questions as we go. So attached to the schedule is a day-by-day -day activity schedule. And what's great is Mary highlighted it according to who's going to be responsible for teaching. And so if you see anything in yellow, this is going to be, or the yellow with the red, so the red font, this is going to be us. This is going to be our social coaches. And so, did everybody receive this schedule? You all have access to it? Um, if not, here I'll stop share briefly and share a different screen. Today I sent you an email with a link to this folder. And in it is um, our social coach training resources. And in here I also have the Tech Trek 2020 with links. This is the schedule. So that folder I sent you all today will have everything you need for the week in here. 
Um, also, if you are curious about the kit contents that the build coaches will be going through, you can view this video that Mary created and it will help you understand what the build coaches will be doing with the students. Okay, 